kids! Welcome to this week's edition of TBC Kids Club. I'm your host, Crafty Aggie. TBC Kids Club is a children's club that seeks to promote learning through art, crafts, and do-it-yourself activities. If you are a parent, register on the links below and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin, shall we? In this activity, I'll be showing you how to make a peg name board. You will need the following materials. A marker pen, a pair of scissors, a small circular template, laundry pegs, cardboard, paper, and a ruler. All these materials, except for the template and the pegs, can be found at Textbook Center. Step one, cut the cardboard into a thin strip. With the ruler, we are just going to use the width of it to draw two lines. Like that. Then we draw another one. Like that. We cut along this second line. So we only need this thin strip. Here we go. Step two, draw and cut out a love heart shape from the paper. So let's begin with the love heart shape. Remember you can draw any other shape that you want. It's just that we are so close to Valentine's, that's why I chose the love hat. So now, after drawing your shape, cut it out with your pair of scissors. And here is the drawn and cut out love hat shape. Step 3, write down the letters of your name and stick down the love heart shape on the cardboard as follows. So here is our cardboard strip. What we want to do is write down the letters of our names in a vertical order. So we just use this circular template to just slightly draw in circles like that. Because my name is Agnes, it has five letters. I have to do five circles. These are just guiding circles so that we have a neat label. So these are one, two, three, four, and the last one here. So now I'll begin with the A. G. N E and finally S So now that we've written our name like this now I want us to stick this love heart shape onto the cardboard Let's glue down the love heart. So just open your tube here, dab some glue behind the ship, and then stick it right on top of the cardboard strip like this. Let me show you. This is what you should have. Step 4, draw and cut out circles as follows. We had already drawn the first one, so let's move on to the second circle.
same letters as the ones that we had written. So G. N. E. And finally S. There. Now let's pr proceed to stick these circles onto our pens. So box some glue behind each circle like this. A good amount. Then on the side of your peg, stick the circle. Do the same for all this. On to N. And it's tricky. <laughs> then the E and finally. Let's do the S. Here we are, our pegs all stuck on with the circles. This is what you should have. Finally, Match each letter to its corresponding value on the cardboard and practice how to write your name. So let's begin. A is the first letter on my cardboard, so I take the peg A and pin it there. Then I go to the second letter, which is G, like that. Then I go to N and do the same. Second last is E. Find E on the cardboard, peg it there, and finally the S. So here I've spelled out my name. Here's another one that I had made earlier for Joanne. So this activity is for those children who still cannot spell their names correctly. Use this activity to help them practice writing their names. Don't forget to send in photos of your projects using the hashtag TBC Kids Club for a chance to win fun gift hampers from Textbook Center. Now, in the next activity, I'll be showing you how to make a name click. You will need the following materials. Cotton twine, watercolor, and of course our water, a pair of scissors, a pencil, a marker pen, and finally, a piece of cardboard. All these materials, except for the water, can be found at Textbook Center. Step one, decorate the cardboard with paint and a marker pen. So, you'll be using this set of watercolors. Do as always, you dip your brush in water first, then you pick your color of choice. Today, I'll be working with pink. Remember, you can Decide on whatever color or colors you'd want to decorate your board with. And we're just going to splash our board with pink paint as well. 
just slightly in the beginning. We can even create an effect that the places which are dark and the places which are lightly painted. Okay, so that's enough. Watercolor dries out quickly, so we'll just go ahead and start decorating with the marker pen. So I'm just doing the border. I'm doing just a, a broken line border all around the edges. And even decide to do another pattern. just around the edges but you can do more with yours step two write your name on the click as follows so i'll write my name but i won't write the full name agnes i'll just write aggie but i'll write aggie's room so i'll start with an a over here remember you can decide to write your name in a fancy way you can even mix up the cases and do some in lower case some in upper case this is my eye in a fancy way you can do it in a cursive way just whatever you decide or feel is a nice decorative way of writing your name so this is the apostrophe for Aggie's room then the room will go down here then my O's will have eyes like that then I can also have flowers on my nail clip. So you decide whatever you want to have. So I'll have two, one big one there and another small one over here. There. This is how my name click all looks like with my name written on it. Step three, make holes on the sides of the click and pass the cotton twine through them. So this is where our pencil or any sharp object comes in handy. So remember to ask for help from an adult when doing this particular project. 
this especially this step so we want to poke holes on the sides like this so it's very dangerous you may hurt yourself that's why you need adult supervision for this so a hole like that is good enough then another one on this other side like that then take your cotton twine this should be enough and then we want to pass this cotton twine through these holes we then tie a knot at the back so you can Still use your pencil to push them through the small holes and you can watch out for them on this other side and pull them out. First one in, set two, second one, uh -huh, good. Then let's Get in this cotton twine through this other hole, like this. That one is easy. So now that we have this, we want to tie knots behind here. Just tie a simple knot, like this. And for this other one, we have to line them up. And then now we can tie the knot. Just pull it tightly. And we can trim off all these dresses. The holes on the sides of our name click and this is the cotton twine which has been passed through the holes finally try out the click and see how it looks so this is mine I gives room to this is how it will look like hung on a door you see very nice very descriptive shows exactly where you are the moment you step into that room here is another one that I made earlier. You can see you can work with any shape. So this one is Joanne's room. So it's in the shape of a rainbow with clouds at the bottom. And you can see how beautiful it is. So you're not limited to the rectangular pattern or any shape. You can work with any nameplate or whatever shape and size that you want. Thank you so much for watching. Don't miss out on a chance of winning fun gift hampers from Textbook Center. Simply upload your photos using the hashtag TBC Kids Club. Remember to subscribe to this channel or click the links below for more details. See you all next time. Bye!